What I want to do today is connect our Discord apps to OpenAI so that whenever a message is sent out to Discord, OpenAI will check to see whether content complies with OpenAI's usage policies. Zapier is a no-code tool that makes it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial so you could try it risk-free. Let's dive in. In order to get started with this workflow, I need to create a Zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. Because I want Discord to trigger OpenAI, I'll need to use Discord as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click New Message Posted to Channel as my event and then click Continue. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime Discord sees a message is posted, it's going to run this workflow. The first time we set up Discord, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your Discord account. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. We'll then need to fill out our trigger apps data. To do that, select the channel you'd like to use for your Zap and click Continue. In order to finish setting up the trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click Test Trigger. You're all set with the first step. Click Continue and we can start creating our first action. Type in OpenAI into the search bar and select it on the drop-down menu. Next, click Check Moderation and click Continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate OpenAI with Zapier, just like I did with my Discord account. To do this, go to your OpenAI page, click the top right button of your screen, and then select View API Keys on the drop-down. Click Create New Secret Key and then copy and paste it onto your authorization screen. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier's got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Click Continue and it's time to assign our trigger apps data into the Action Apps fields. Under Input, I'll select Content under the dropdown and click Continue. OpenAI creates our prompts, but we'll need a place to send our zaps in order to view them. Let's use Google Sheets. Type in Google Sheets into the search bar and then select Create Spreadsheet Row and click Continue. Log into your account once more and click Continue again. From there, we can start to assign our Trigger Apps data into the Action Apps fields. First, select the spreadsheet and worksheet you'd like to use for your Zap. My spreadsheet data will then appear. I should format it accordingly. Under Username, I'll select Author Username. Under Message, I'll select Content. And under Moderation Check, I'll select Flagged and click Continue. Click Test Action, and I should be all set. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, anytime a message is sent out to Discord, OpenAI will check to see whether content complies with OpenAI's usage policies. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier can do so much more with these two apps and thousands of others. Check Zapier out. There's a free trial. Click the link in the description.